Hello everyone and welcome. We will be doing another Let's Play. And this time we'll be Let's Playing Cataclysm. Dark Days Ahead. I'm not sure how many of you have heard of this game. Uh, I've only heard uh, heard of it quite recently. Uh, basically, it's a it's a zombie survival game, and uh, it's it's uh, it's not very graphically advanced. But I'm sure if you don't know the game, you'll you'll find out very shortly <laughs> about how how graphically unadvanced this game actually is. But in any case, uh, the first thing we need to do before we can start playing is to create a world. And if you are familiar with with Dwarf Fortress or any sort of roguelike game like that, you'll be familiar with uh, with uh, with this. Um, I'm not completely sure how the control how the controls work yet in this game, but I hope you'll bear with me on this one. And there are actually mods that you can also input in this game. Uh, as you can see, the I think it's currently loading old guns pack and medieval content pack. I don't know if I really want to load any mods. Oh no, I don't want to do that. Uh, I'll just press enter. Oh, I see. I see, I see, I see. Okie dokie. We will be not be using any mods. Uh, let's see. World Gen Options. Surrounded Start. That doesn't sound good, so let's not do that. Uh, size of Cities. Uh, I don't know. Four. I don't know. Uh, classic Zombies. Ooh, sure. Uh, default Region Type. Desert Test or Default. Let's just use Default. Delete World. No, we want to be creating a world. Spring sounds like a good initial season. Uh, initial time eight. Yep. Uh, item spawn scaling factor. What? Okay, so I assume this is how frequent items spawn throughout the world, or how abundant items are around the world. I'm not sure if items actually spawn while you're playing. I wouldn't assume so. Um, let's see. Mutations by radiation. Yeah, sure. Random NPCs. Sure. Sounds like fun. Season length. 14. 14 what? <laughs> okay. Uh, spawn rate scaling factor. Uh, let's just leave that at default. It's probably the spawning rate of the uh, of the of the zombies or NPCs in general. Static NPCs. I don't know. Static spawn. Sure. Uh, that's what's what 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 are we gonna name this world? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, we're gonna name it uh, very creatively. Sorry. Cataclysmic. I don't know. Sure. Why the hell not? Are you sure you are finished? Yes, sir. Okay. Well... Did it create the world? Yes, it did, actually. Good. Okay. Let's create... Let's start a new game. Right, and we'll be creating a... I think we'll be creating a random character. Why not? What name? Name. Hmm. Can we do random names? Yes, we can. Sean Duncan. Hmm. Yeah, sure. Why the hell not? And let's finish see in game what kind of traits we got okay and we have spawned in a I think this is some sort of uh, shelter thingy okay well let's have a look what are we wearing 
halogen bar. Why the hell would we be wearing a halogen bar? And a pocket watch. Okay. Halogen bar. <laughs> we do not have a weapon. We do, however, have shorts, trousers, a firefighter belt, a coat, some boots, gauntlets, safety glasses, and a firefighter's helmet. Okay, so maybe our guy was a firefighter at some point. Or maybe he just found it somewhere. Who knows? Okay, let's have a look. Uh, what else can we do? Oops. No, I didn't want to do that. Uh, how do we see? Character status. Uh, list of commands. Let's have a look. Check the NPC. Open inventory. Do, 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 do. Throw item. Craft items. Nope. Simple items. Nope. View player info. At. Ooh, there we go. All right. Oh, we're not that strong. We do, however, have high dexterity. And we're not very intelligent. Uh, we have probably above average perception. Okay. Strength is for melee combat. Dexterity affects your chance to hit melee combat. Okay. Uh huh, uh huh. Alright. We seem to be a little encumbered. I think. Hmm. As you can see in the center, uh, our trades are accomplished sleeper and light step. Not sure what those mean. Okay, I see. Accomplished sleeper means that we'll be easily, more easily falling asleep, which is also you have something you'll have to be doing in this game, sleeping. Ah, light step. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. That's uh, light step means that uh, we won't be making a lot of noise when we're walking, and also. We won't be likely to set up set off any traps. All right, we don't have any eff effects. Let's look at our skills. Cutting weapons two, okay. Melee weapons two. Hmm. First aid one, swimming one, and the rest is zero. Yes. All right. So we'll be either looking for a cutting weapon or a melee weapon. Alrighty. Alright, I guess we can look in these lockers. That one is empty. 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 They're all empty. Alright. Yeah. I don't think we'll be going down there that's the basement and more than likely there'll be zombies there let's have a look at this shelter computer emergency message greeting citizen a biological attack has taken place and a state of emergency has been declared emergency personnel will be aiding you sh shortly to ensure your safety please follow the below steps one do not panic two Remain inside the building. 3. Seek shelter in the basement. No. 4. Use provided gas masks. 5. Await further instructions. Well, we'll not be following these instructions because there are zombies in the basement. Let's go outside and have a little look on our map. Oh, okay. To our left there is a village, with a house, a pharmacy, a park, a garage. 
coffee shop, sporting goods store. And I think sporting goods stores are a good location for getting backpacks. Because we will be needing a backpack. As you can see in the top here. Um, you won't only have to uh, take your weight into account, but also the volume of items that you can carry. And I think right now this volume is mainly generated by our trousers and our turnout coat, probably. Yeah. But if we if we find a backpack, then we'll more than likely uh, get about 50 volume or something like that, and then we'll be able to carry a lot more items. Anyway, let's have a further look on this map right here. Okay, house grocery store. It's a good place to get some food and and water. Of course, we need both. House hardware store. Ooh. House gas station gas station. Why the hell would you need two gas stations? Never mind. Not questioning the logic. Uh, three gas stations. Wow. Okay. <laughs> um, what's this? Uh, it's a cathedral. And that's a forest. Well, I think we should be making our way over to the town to our left. But I think will be more than likely to run into the to a few zombies along the way. I'm just going to remind you that I'm not very good at these types of games. <laughs> so please bear with me when I get killed over and over again. Okay, we seem to have spotted a monster. And we spotted a smoker zombie. Really? And in what direction will that be? It won't tell us. Okay. Never mind then. Let's ignore that one for now. And it's disappeared. Okay. Wow. Is that blood? What is that? To our left. You see Sean Duncan. Hello, Sean. Okay. Let's have a look. What this is. Looks like blood. Yes, it is blood. A lot of blood. A human corpse. Human corpses are very good sources of items. Because zombies aren't known for their intelligence. And if humans die, they usually are left with all the items that they died with. Human corpse are the items here. Wow. It's a bloody massacre here. Blood, blood, human corpse. <laughs> Blood's better. Uh, oh, wow. Now that's crazy. Alright, we'll be having a look at those human corpses, I think. Uh, as you can see on the, on the right side, we uh, you can switch on and off safety mode. Which means that uh, you can, uh, if you've got safety mode turned on, and there are no enemies near you, you can just freely move around and uh, if if a enemy shows up if my character can see an enemy, this will happen monster spotted, safe mode is on press exclamation mark to turn it off or press the, uh, what is it? the quote mark to ignore the monster and it's the zombie smoker again as you can see in the top right, it should show up as that weasel does. As uh, you can see, the weasel is to our northeast. But the smoker zombie is nowhere to be found. That is very odd. We'll be ignoring this for now. Maybe it's some sort of apparition, you know? It comes in and out of existence. As you can see to our southwest, there's also a cat now. Anyway, we'll be examining this human corpse. It's got cargo shorts. Uh -huh. As you can see in the bottom right, these are the stats. Moves per attack, price, 
materials, cotton. Got to lag now. No. I don't think we'll be taking any of that. We'll be taking the energy cola though. The suppressor. Okay, let's say weapon mod. I guess we'll take that. Okay, you had two pair of cargo pants. Two pairs. Mm. Polo shirt, dress shirt, long sleeve shirt. Alright. We'll be taking these. Uh, I don't think there's anything else here. Six items. No, nothing more there. Where is this actually? Oh, I think that's the smoke down there. Can we examine that? Yeah, smoke. There you go. Ah, I think something crashed here or got blown up or something. Maybe a plane or a helicopter. Might be anything. We can't really see because of the smoke. Mm. All right, let's just go through all these corpses. Okay, human corpse, cargo pants, steel-toed boots. I'll be taking those. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, you can bash people in the skull with them. That's for bash. It's a modifier to melee, I think, to blunt melee damage. Uh, boots, tank top, no, uh, douchebag. No offense to anyone who wears tank tops. <laughs> um, long sleeve shirt, sports jersey, sweater, boy shorts, panties, really. Oh, and the guy was a heroin addict. Hmm, it's worth a thousand dollars, so I think we'll be taking that. Examine. Plastic bag of meat jerky, yeah. Oh god. Our inventory is full already. <sighs> I think we'll be dropping our heroin. Let's see. Heroin is N. Oh we could eat the heroin, but uh, let's let's not do that. Let's just drop it on the floor. Drop one. Okay. Mm. Cargo pants. Not quite sure what kind of pants we had on. Uh, not trousers. Okay. This is what we were wearing. Uh, volume twenty. Oh, really? It's made out of Kevlar. Cool. Cars the legs. Car number two. Storage six. <laughs> well. Let's see if... Uh, what did we pick up? The cargo pants. P. And this actually has a storage of 12. This brings our storage up to 32, I think. Now, as you can see, we're wearing two pieces of two two pieces, yeah, two pants actually, two pairs of trousers. We are wearing the turnout trousers and the cargo pants, and this has a penalty on our movement. As you can see here. Our running costs 12 extra movement points, our swimming costs 192 extra movement points, and our dodge is decreased by 2. <laughs> but I think for the time being we'll be keeping those trousers. It's cargo pants. Okay, human corpse. Uh -huh. I think we'll be dropping all our heroin because I don't think we'll be... Oh, we did drop all heroin, okay. Uh, let's see. What 
Let's see here. Adderall. What is Adderall? Plastic. Uh, no idea. Baseball bat. Now this we need. Uh, baseball bat. Cute. And wheel. There we go. And if I'm not mistaken, we're now carrying a baseball bat, yes. And this baseball bat has a bash modifier of 20. Nice. That is very nice. Very nice indeed. Alright. Uh, let's keep examining this. Cola, pork sticks, compression top. Mail carrier shirt. Take off. Nope. Bra and more heroin. Well, it looks like these guys were a bunch of heroin addicts. Plastic bottle of sports drink. Yeah, sure. Meat jerky. Yep. Uh, some sort of magazine. Oh, I have a million of two, so I. I don't think I'll need that. A mini nuke? What? A mini nuke? What the hell is a m mini nuke? Uh -huh. Just gonna take it for now. Zero volume bandages are going to be very helpful, I think. Camisole. Yeah. Oh dear. I don't think I pick that up. Uh, let's see. Where's the mini nuke? There it is. Yep. Good. Hoodie. Cargo pants, sneakers, casual undershirt, heroin. More heroin. Big surprise. Firearm, waterproofing. Doesn't have any volume. A lot of weight. So. Let's take that with us. Ooh! This guy has a machete. I like. But it has a lot of volume. I think this is better than our baseball bat. Because this one has 6 bash and 20 cut. And our baseball bat just has 20 bash. So let's take it. Let's see. Um, let's drop baseball bat. Oh dear. Oh, what am I pressing? Okay, machete. Where is the machete? There it is. And wield. There we go. Anything interesting? A lighter. That's going to be helpful. Nine millimeter rounds. If we find a gun, that's going to be very helpful. A crack pipe. Yes. These guys were definitely drug addicts. Uh, silver boots. Dress shoes. Yeah, whatever. All right. Let's check our inventory. Oh, uh, steel toe boots. I'll be wearing that. Steel toe boots fit. a weapon now. That's not good. That's not really... Uh, just throw it somewhere. Let's just throw it. I can't throw it very far, but let's throw it here. Uh, uh. <laughs> let's 
get our machete out again. Wield our machete. All right. I think we're gonna move on. And leave these drug dealers, corpses to their fates. Probably gonna turn into a zombie at some point. Oh dear. A tough zombie to our west. That's not good. I don't like tough zombies. Has it seen us? I'm gonna move further, further north. Huh. This is a car. Interesting. A semi truck. Impassable. I have no idea how this works. Can I get in to these cars? You open the door. Okay. Um <laughs> what in the world? <laughs> what? Okay, so we're in the car right now. It's a semi truck has a safe speed of 96 kilometers an hour and its top speed is 475 kilometers an hour which is absolutely ridiculous <sighs> acceleration yeah. mass uh, so it's over two tons status dented fuel usage three that's probably like three liters per hundred kilometers no, that's ridiculous. Three kilometers per one liter? I don't know. Most damage aboard, wheels enough. Oh, and our gasoline and batteries are completely dead and empty. But maybe we need to start it. I have no idea how to do that. Ooh. Repair. Refill, I don't have anything. Siphon, drain water, change tire, rename. I have no idea how to use this vehicle. So, let's move on further north. Hopefully there won't be... I got it. <laughs> I was just about to say, hopefully there won't be any zombies there. But it looks like there definitely are zombies there. Oh, dang. <sighs> tough zombie. I don't think we can take on a tough zombie. Oh, it's out of our sight. Cool. Get into this house. Let's smash this window. From the west, you hear glass break. Yes, that's because I just broke it. And press the asterisk, and then we go I for the clean broken window. Then we press left. There we go. Now, if we don't clean the window, we will be more than likely getting hurt if we're gonna if we're going through the window. V to see what's on the floor here. Lime, soda, glass shards, sheets, 
state long string, sunglasses, bifocal glasses, a rock, yes. Quite. Examine. Waistcoat. Shorts. Dress. Well, we'll be picking up that soda can. some nutrition. Sure. Let's pick it up. We got it right. Protein powder. Yeah. Alright. Let's eat some protein powder. Uh, yeah. Did we eat protein powder? Eat. You eat your protein powder. Okay. Okay. There's water here as well. A uh, container for water. I don't have any containers for water. Drink from your hands. Yes. You will not be able to finish it all. Yes. Good. Apparently there's a sink in the middle of the room. Not questioning that. Oh, it looks like this is a bloody mess here. God, monster spotted. Ah, there's a zombie in the middle of the street there. Is it? Ah, uh, it's just a zombie zombie. Spoon, plastic bag of popcorn kernels. Sure. Waffle iron, not very useful. Frying pan, this is useful. Plastic bottle of lemonade, nice soap bar, children's book, and a fur hat. We'll be picking up this bag of popcorn kernels. Picking up this plastic bottle of lemonade. And what else was here? Right, frying pan. We'll be picking that one up as well. Three frying pans. Well, we'll just be needing one. Well, three kilograms or something. And there wasn't anything else interesting here. Nope. Okay. Tell me. How do I get? Yes. Ignore it. What's this? Oh, it's a soap ball. Oh, I think the zombie's seen me. That's probably not uh, gonna end well. A children's book. No, thank you. Oh, it might not have seen me at all. Fur hat. Nah. Let's examine bookcase. Yes. Interesting. Let's close the door. Okay, and this is a coke can. Sure. Oops. Cigarettes. Computer gaming. Yeah. Jean jacket. Well, I think there are a lot of zombies here. Oh dear. Well, as you can see, there is a zombie right in front of me, and there is a zombie child right behind it. And it looks like we're gonna have to kill them. Check. We have the machete. Yes. We could use the mini nuke, but you know, it's probably not going to end well for any anyone. Okay, let's stab the zombie or 
slash it or batter it. Your machete gets stuck in the zombie, pulling it out of your hands. God damn it. <sighs> well. Let's let's try the mini nuke. Just for the heck of it. Can we bash it in the skull with a mini nuke? one second or one minute. Okay, that's one second. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Well, that's that's going to wrap up our first episode. I know that's pretty stupid, but at least we got to set off a mini nuke. <laughs> you set a timer to one. Tick. You are deafened. A huge explosion. You are hit by the fallen debris, probably the ceiling coming down upon us. You're caught in the explosion, yep. Your turnout coat is ripped, your cargo pants are ripped. Your cargo pants is ripped, yep. Radioactive gas burns. Well, now as this is actually a persistent world, uh, we'll be, of course, making a new character for the next episode. And we c will probably be able to see what kind of damage this mini-nuke has done. <laughs> it's probably going to be pretty huge. But we'll see that in the next episode. So, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and I'll see you all next time.